Welcome to Workshop and Home. Today I'm going to be building a simple raised bed for my vegetable garden. So I went down last night and bought all the stuff I need to build my raised garden bed. And I got some 2x10s uh, and some 2x4s and some 2x2s. And I'm going to build this pretty simply for the bed, but I also want to put a top on it that has some netting around it to keep some of the birds and squirrels out. So this raised bed is going to be four feet wide by eight feet long. And the first step is going to be cutting down the eight foot side. Okay, I'm going to get set up here to make the first cut. These are going to be eight feet long. All right, now the side pieces are going to be four feet, 48 minus three, that's 45 inches I need to make these. So the idea I have here is to butt these together and screw them in place and then the 2x4s will come across the top and create a nice little ledge. Unfortunately this board is bowed pretty bad so what I'm going to have to do is lay it down and put this, get this piece attached first so that I can maybe stand on this while I screw it in and try to straighten it out a little bit. So after putting that front piece on, I think the next best course of action is to actually get the back one on too. And then what I'll do is I'll flip it over and then I can go ahead and square up the side pieces and screw them in that way. That might be a lot easier.
got these flipped over now so it's upside down and we can uh, I'll go ahead and square off these corners and get everything screwed together Well, so much for that drill bit. So I went ahead and cut some of these two by twos down. I'm gonna use them here in the corners for a little bit of added support. That should make our corners pretty nice and strong. Well, it's day two and I'm almost finished with the bottom of this thing, but uh, before I get it flipped over, I actually want to put this hardware cloth on the bottom to keep uh, some of the pests out. So I'm going to put this hardware cloth on the bottom. Hopefully this will keep the uh, gophers out of the garden. And I don't have a width wide enough for this thing so I'm going to have to double it up and what I'll do I'll put one on one side and one on the other and then I'll clip them in with some hog rings in the middle and that should do just fine and uh, fasten this down I'm actually going to use some roofing nails these work pretty good and holding this stuff down
All right, now it's time to flip it over. This thing's gonna be really heavy. And I would suggest if you do build one of these and you don't have a way to move it to your garden, it's best to build it outside. All right, the next step on this bottom box, or the last step, is to put these side rails on. So there we have a nice little raised planter, raised bed, and it's got the hardware cloth bottom on it to hopefully keep the digging critters out. And on the next video, I'm going to put a top on this to keep the other critters out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.